one. All right, y'all. Welcome back. This is um, I am now back in this Diamond Lake camp, getting ready to talk to Corey because uh, he's got a job for us. So here we go. Let's do it. Corporal St. John, I've got an important assignment for you. Yes, sir. Whatever I can do to help. We sent a patrol north along Highway 97 to investigate a group of anarchists. Have you ever had a run-in with them before? Anarchists? The assholes that left those little fucking cairns all over the place? Yeah. yeah I've met them once or twice. Uh, way back in the day, I, I uh, thought they were all killed off. Evidently not. I've marked their location on your map. I'm sending you in alone in case any of our men are being held. <clears throat> yeah, I get it. I'll have a better <clears throat> chance of getting them out alive. Got it. The patrol commander, Sergeant Mitch Allen, is a personal friend of mine. <clears throat> yes, sir. I'll, uh... I'll do what I can. I'm counting on you, Corporal. Dismissed. All right. This mission sounds interesting. I'm about to say, it better, not, it better not freeze, man. I just started. All right. Hold on. Let me check it out where I'm at to go. Or, or what I have to do. Let's see. Yeah. Clear the marker camp. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yeah, we're doing that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone's is days is going well. You know, mine's is you know here and there, but it's it's all good. It's all good. I'm not gonna try to sound negative and everything. But anywho, um, I want to get back on a few topics that I couldn't finish because you know, as I play through this game, you know, I don't want to like uh, feel like I'm in strain from the story mode because I'm you know, I'm also interested interested in this in this story mode as well, but. Yeah, I want to talk about marriage, man. Like, you know, to all these guys, or these, or any anybody who feels like you know they're not ready to get married, or feel like they still haven't been able to soil their their soil roots, or that's how they call it. I wouldn't take that chance to get married. You know, marriage is like <clears throat> basically you're giving up. You know, <clears throat> I think that's them right there. That smoke. I think that's exactly where we're heading. But anyway. I just feel like, you know, because a lot of people, a lot of dudes, I, I, I mean, a lot of people that I know, even from celebrities, not going to put any of them, any, anyone of their, of their names into this stream. I'm just talking about the point, you know, because <clears throat> a lot of them feel like they just not, they're not fully ready, you know, it's like they just, they just went with the flow and then they're not happy, <clears throat> you know, I mean, I mean, I've been, you know, in and out of, of relationships and I, you know, I mean, I, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't feel like I'm not ready for that type of commitment either because, you know, I just don't feel up to it. Especially for what I've been through in the past. I mean, I deserve, you know, to have me some little fun while, you know, while I still can. Especially when I'm still young. But, um, you know, I just, I just feel in my honest opinion, you know, if you feel like you're not ready to, ready to, you know, get married and be in a committed, um, sacred bond, then don't do it. <clears throat> you know? Cause I know a person who kind of went a little too fast, and you know they got married, and he has to pay for all the all these uh, fees, and the fee, you know has to pay back their their fam their relatives that that he uh, I think borrow. I will say a loan, but I'll just say borrow. Loan is a more serious uh, 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 finance, but. <clears throat> You know, and then you know he's out, you know, out here struggling and going through a lot of circumstances. You know, I just feel like you know, I, like how I would do is just I would like build, like get my financial my financial issues up, so I won't have to put myself in that in that category. Oh, a gas tank, hold up, let me stop. It's two gas tanks. I wish I could carry them with me, but oh well. But yeah, man. <clears throat> I just, I'm just saying, you know, um, cause I mean, I, I've been around a lot of people getting married. Some of them say they, they're miserable. Some say they don't want to get married. They don't want to get married. You know, I'm saying like, you know, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I, even though I keep telling myself I won't get married no matter what, who knows? I might actually go for it. You know, I'm actually finding a woman that's really perfect for me. What? Well, hold on guys. I think I'm here. All right. Hmm. All right, let me look around. Hold on, all right, guys, I'm gonna hold that thought. Let's take a look around. All right, we gotta find this camp, this ambush camp. Arctic Chris, 
Park Kick Rest Camp. Alright, there's gotta be something here. There's gotta be something here, some sort of up. Oh, here we are. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? You're mine now. Okay, looks like they're heading that way. Tracks. Mm, look at the deers. Oh, y'all lucky I'm on a mission. Oh, y'all lucky. I want, I want to shoot y'all so bad. But I don't want to F'd up. This is one of... A word of caution. Captain Curry tells me he was one of our best riders. If you let him get away, you won't be able to catch him. Now, we'll just see about that. St. John out. Don't worry. You know, we've been doing this for, like, at the ever since the very beginning. And that was the time when I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Hmm, camp. I wonder if I could find something useful here. All right, where? Okay, militia gear. Looks like they got dragged off. I'm on tracks. Nope, I don't have anything to craft yet. But I'll just hold on to it. But yeah, man. <clears throat> I like how detailed this game is, though. And you know, I, I honestly, even though I have Wolfenstein to play, and I honestly, guys, I gotta play through that with Last of Us. You know, it's not like I haven't like I haven't played it. I have played it, but I've never been able to finish it. So I want to make that. Ooh, I can't. Boom! Kick that down. Goddamn anarchists. Anyway, I want to play through that Last of Us. Like I want to have that experience on my channel. You know, finish it all the way through. So when two comes out, I'll be suitable and more ready. All right, let me climb up here. Something tells I'm getting close. Fire. Is this it? Are this we here? Is it. It's a fire. Oh. Neat functioning bike. Ah, I should have brought my bike with me, guys. What was I thinking? Oh. All right, hang on. Let me go get my bike. Let me sprint all the way back up to this snowy mountain. I'm gonna be guy. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Um, in California, someday I'm gonna plan on on um making my way up to the Big Bear. Hopefully in in the, in the winter. I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try to get my people. And we can we can because I mean my people they've been up there a few times snowboarding and stuff. They said it's pretty fun. Different, but pretty fun because, you know, I'm more of a topical uh, type of person. You know, me, I don't mind doing new things, especially if it's fun, you know, and it's interesting. I I'm really, I'm, I'm down for it, you know, like, screw it. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to snowboard, even though they said it's scary as hell. You end up going like around 60 or 70 miles per hour down the mountain. I'm hard headed. I, I don't really give a damn, man. Even though I might break a bone and make a break a limb or two, it's 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 just a thrill, man. Shit, I don't know. I've been I've been crazy ever since I was seven, man, on my bike, going down crazy hills and stuff, until I fell and fell off the hill and hurt myself. Okay, what now? All right, what now? Watch so we way. check this guy again. Gotcha, Colonel. Has there he is. Oh yeah, we got this guy. Hell yeah, let's get him. Come on! I know that guy was like, damn! He was like, damn! Damn's right! Damn Skippy is right! Going Molotovs on Alright Deep. Get close so I can put out his gun. Get closer. I gotta admit, he's fast on these, uh, oh, on these snow, um, ah, mm, mm. and you're alone too? Oh, oh <laughs> we both crashed. <laughs> wow, that is a epic fail for both of us. But however, How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. Well, 
Well, I think I already did. Uh, don't matter much to me one way or the other. God damn the anarchists. Well, that's it. Colonel, Job's done. I've got him. Oh, transmitting the coordinates now. Good work, Corp. All right, hold on, guys. <clears throat> I've been doing some thinking. I need to do some of these missions. I have not been able to do uh, uh, any of these side missions because I've been so caught up on the main story. I kind of want to do a few of them. Um, wait, no, I don't think that's not what I was looking for. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, I'll, I'll probably deal with... You know what? Maybe I should deal with this. Yeah. <clears throat> I need I need some action, man. But yeah, I'm gonna start doing these side missions a little more before I get back to the main story. Like I already got the items that I need to bring back to uh, to Weaver because he's bored in that cave. Which I don't blame. I'll be listening to music in my at work as well. And you know, a little friend of mine got me into using um, some wireless. Uh... Oh, we're here already. Oh, of course we were close. I thought our whole objective was to go at a. Uh... And uh, attacked uh, uh, the camp in the first place, but I guess our that was our dude. I don't know if I can swim in this cold water though. Hmm. I wonder if there's another way I can get around. Let me give it a try. Gotta take a closer look. Ooh, I know it's cold, but what about all right? There you are. Tracks lead this way. All right. Well. Let's go find this camp. Don't worry, guys. We're just getting to the best part of them all. A mine. Yeah, this is it. Hey, Captain. I found them. Is it in here? It looks like they're holed up in a mine. Let me bring this just in case. Are they holding hostages? Are they alive? Uh, I don't know yet, but if they are... I sure hope I don't run into no hurt. Oh, shoot. Um, there they are. If they have your friend, I'll find him. Thank you. Hurry up. Where are they hiding you? All right, I gotta be careful, guys. Oh, mine. Another goddamn mine. Gotta be careful. Symbols. Gotta be the place. Shut, shut. shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Okay, you didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. But you're deaf. Damn, my gun went off. And my silencer went off too. I hope they didn't hear that. A cairn. Yep, goddamn anarchists. Yeah, it's nobody didn't hear nothing. You just set up camp and pick off militia supplies. Yes, they did. Shoot. Oh well. No need to play it quiet anymore. I was looking to get some fun anyway. Come on, guys. Impress me. Hey, you like chaos? Hey, you want some anarchy? How about this? Hey, why you guys out just like, you know, stacking up little piles of rocks, huh? Fucking anarchists. Hate every goddamn one of you. Yeah, none of y'all ain't getting out of this alive. Y'all do know that, right? Anarchists! There should be a few more left. Gotta pull back. Hey, I'm a monster with this rifle. There we go. I am a monster with this rifle. Another anarchist side. Oh, come on, I know, I know it's not all of them. All right, switch to my right, my shotgun. Man, it's kind of like, hmm. This looks exactly like the uh, Reapers, but it's a, it's different. What? I guess I'm gonna have to kill all the enemies first. I guess. Okay. Well, I was looking forward to doing that anyway. I know it sounds a little evil, guys, but job's a job. And this, this does seem sort of like a hitman type of thing, so. Oh well. Alright. 
Come on, where the rest of his comrades at? Rest in pieces. I know that could have been all of them. No way. I mean, I'm just getting warmed up. No, no, come on, Deke. Don't, don't do this to me now. I don't think they didn't notice what yeah, I guess they didn't hear what was happening down down at the cave. So this puts me in my favor. Good night. Yep. This works in my favor. <laughs> they don't know they have all about to die. They are all about to go out. I think it's three more. Mm, F your stones. I think I see them at a far distance. All right, two more. Oh shoot, gotta hurry. That's the last. Mm. Good riddance. Man, it's the luckiest day in your life. Hey, yes, Sarge. You must be Mitch Allen. Uh, I was a goner. Thank you. Thank you, man. I, th I thought it was over. I'll bet. Are you uh, good to get out of here on your own? Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, thanks, man. I owe you my life. I'm heading back. I'll tell him what you did. I swear to you. Just doing my job. That's how I do it. Just doing my job. Escape the mines. Let me look at these guys. See the guy who came. Oh! Oh! Yes. Okay. I'm out. Let's let's get the hell out of here. They weren't kidding about escaping the mines. I guess these guys must have played really quiet down here. Wait, do, do I remember where? How do I get like? I don't know. I don't care. Just let me just run and hopefully hope for for my sake that this leaves me a way out. I know all those monsters, they're right behind me. And they're pissed off. Oh. <clears throat> Just like football. Just like football. Wait, where am I running to? <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, come on. Get, get off me, bro. Get off me. Get off me. I know I'm supposed to be killing these things, but you know what? It's a huge herd behind me. Oh! Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm out. Whew! Man, I'm not gonna lie, that was intense. Definitely. We got the... Yeah, but I'm, not we're not out of the woods yet. Back we're not out of it. We're, we're not out just yet. I'll radio back. Can I get? Fuck it! Oh no! Oh! Ouch! All right. Whew! What a crazy day that I had, man. All right. Let me get back to my bike and um. And I'm gonna try to get back to that uh. Get back to that island, and after that, I'm gonna call this uh, call this a day. Well, I have to say though, <laughs> uh, it was fun, you know, it was fun. Well, while I'm making my way to my bike and um, 
yeah, that's all I'm gonna talk about though, you know, cause you know I just seen a lot of it, you know. Hey, like, Captain, did uh, Sarge make oh. it back okay? Y'all really want this? Are y'all sh are y'all positive? Y'all really want it? Well, just doing so my I job, thought. sir. Well, that was one hell of a job. Thank you, Corporal. That's all I said. Just doing my job. Uh, yes, sir. Saint John up. Y'all really want it? Yeah, stay your ass down. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Was that your brother? Oh, I guess it was. Oh. Wow, that was my first time doing that. I caught it right on the mark. <laughs> well, your brother would have still been around if you had an F with me. Yeah, neat. Oh, man, this just gets better, huh? <clears throat> Someday, guys, I like to go camping. I would like to look at the stars. Like, look how beautiful the sky is. I swear, man. I I had a dream about this once that I went camping, and I when I look up to the sky, I mean, the sky was just exactly like what I was. What it was in, it was in my dream, and it was like a lot of nature. I don't know. Something in my dream was telling me something that one of these days I should go out, get out the city, and go camping. And you know, you know, taking it, take it all in, you know, blend in with the nature, so I could see something like this. Uh, if I only had a girlfriend that I really liked, though, that probably would like really made up most of my struggles and hard times. But someday, I ain't rushing it. But but anyway, um, let me get back to my bike and then um. I forgot what else I was talking about, but I've never been able to finish. Well, I can't really think about it right now. Oh, yes. That just hit me. Um, Let me tell y'all something. Um, Now, I'm not going to... Now, I have a friend, you know, that I really care about. She's a female, but that's all. That's as far as I'm going to go. Um... What she told me, to, like, I mean, she wanted some dude, uh, uh, hit her, her rear bumper at a, at an intersection. Like, you know, when you see a red stop and you see the other car stopping at, like, in front of you and you're supposed to stop. Apparently that guy didn't exactly follow through, follow simple instructions. So she, he hit her bumper and I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was pissed off and concerned. Like, I hope she was okay. She said it wasn't like a serious bump. But it was like a boom, like, like, like when it, like when it, when it bumps at a, I think it was going somewhere between like 20 miles per hour. So it was kind of like, it wasn't like a serious bump. Wait, 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 hope I don't start the mission. Oh, well, fuck it. I was going to just call it an A, but I guess I could play a little bit longer. We'll talk about it later, guys. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks are mutating, some faster than others. Uh -huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> All right. The tracking signal is coming from somewhere around Mount Scott. There's a cave. The subject you're tracking has a super elevated metabolism. We think it might be headed there. If there's something else, we'd like you to check. We did send a team in on foot. They never came back. Just let me know if you find them. We got people here looking for some closure. So, uh, 
What else can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and other... You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo-jumbo. Believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, you'll change your mind. O'Brien out. Alright, well, let's go do that thing. I just hope this ain't another setup. <clears throat> well, Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Oh, yeah, that changes everything. Uh, yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it. Out. Oh, man, a herd? I should have... O'Brien. I should have had better... Like... How many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Should have came better with that. Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. All right, Ryan, man. Oh, man. You ain't leaning so towards death. I'm down your pet freak. Give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. Or the ice. Man. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty, or the lack of it, affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60, mostly, were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who was exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is... The virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I oh, know, you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. <sighs> yeah, oh, well, man. Probably would. Say, John out. I hope we're not about I hope you don't end up getting into it when another mutated uh walker, that's how they call it, our freaks. I guess this is their this is one of their buddies. He didn't Brian, make it. I found another one of your men. Heidi says his name was H. S. Patterson. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. But you didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. His radio's been dead for 12 hours. All their radios have been dead for 12 hours. I don't need to ask. Thank you for doing this. O'Brien we'll out. Okay. Well. I guess head back and find three more of her up there of his people. That's been kindly miss com completely missing for 12 hours. I mean, if they're still alive without even being bitten or whatever, that's a complete, that will be an absolute a miracle. <clears throat> anyway, let's, let me get back to where I started. All right, let's see where this trail leads. Oops. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry. I'm not trying to make the video for too longer or too long. But anyway, I appreciate all the likes and, subs and subscribe. And yeah, of course, stick tuned for more because I am interested in seeing what, you know, what this mission is about, what happened to these guys. And yeah, so I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take it easy.